This is Kelly Hill, technology reporter for RCR Wireless News. I'm here at Zayo's offices in the Denver Tech Center with Dave Jones, who heads up their business that provides wireless back or that provides backhaul for wireless operators. Dave, good morning. Good morning. Nice to be with you today. Um, let's get a little bit of an overview of Zayo and of your section's business in particular. Sure thing. So Zayo is a nationwide uh, uh, transport back infrastructure provider. Uh, we serve a number of different uh, customer segments around the country uh, with with uh, transport solutions and co-location solutions. Uh, I run the Fiber to the Tower product group. Uh, it's one of our uh, one of our strategic product groups that's focused. Uh, uh, exclusively on serving the wireless carriers with backhaul solutions. And what are you seeing in terms of trends uh, as LTE is being rolled out, um, and also in terms of small cells? Uh, so LTE, uh, I think we are in uh, pretty advanced stages of LTE deployment by all the major carriers. Uh, some got an earlier starts than others. Uh, but LTE was really uh, the ultimate driver of, of um, deploying fiber to cell sites. Uh, in some cases, carriers began that process before LTE, and some carriers did it in parallel with their LTE rollouts. Um, but I think we're on the tail end of that curve now. Um, it, it's hard to get statistics around you know, what percentage of sites have fiber. Uh, today, I, my guess would be we're probably in the maybe 70% range nationwide. There certainly are sites that do not have uh, fiber yet and probably don't have ethernet yet either. A lot of those are probably in rural areas. Uh, but the industry is, you know, working their way through that uh, that big challenge. I think we're on the on the downswing. Uh, what we're starting to see now, um, now that that established uh, uh, LTE network is in place with Ethernet backhaul, is uh, carriers are, are beginning to upgrade their bandwidth uh, to higher bandwidths than they initially deployed or requested from providers like Zao. And uh, an activity that you're seeing in the small cell realm. Uh, in the small cell realm, uh, we believe this is a, a really new segment of the industry that the industry is trying to figure out the best way to solve. And it does need to happen as a partnership between the wireless carriers, uh, fiber, uh, transport providers like Zao, their equipment providers, everybody in the ecosystem uh, needs to figure out a business model that works for that. Uh, certainly the goal is to uh, deploy those uh, small cells to provide improved coverage and capacity in, in areas where that's required at a much lower cost structure than macro cells, mm -hmm. uh, both from a, a capital uh, expense perspective as well as operating expense perspective. And But the same elements that you have to deal with with macro cells are still there with small cells. So um, you need to purchase equipment. You need to place it somewhere, which probably means paying some entity uh, rent for that space, and you need uh, backhaul transport to get the, the, the you know traffic back to the MSC. So um, the industry is really trying to decompose each one of those things and look at how can we do each one of those for a fraction of what it would do cost to do it at a macro cell. Mm -hmm. um, in particular, from a backhaul standpoint, so Zeo is is providing backhaul solutions for uh, small cells. Uh, we're also providing um, site placement uh, solutions for small cells, meaning site acquisition and um, installation and even remote hands operation services for small cells. So we're, we really believe, uh, we don't do that in the macro cell space, but with small cells, we believe um, our, our, our capability set is actually well suited for those applications in addition to providing backhaul service. Um, can you talk a little bit about what you're seeing uh, in terms of kind of the, the scale of where operators are at right now in exploring small cells and maybe some of the approaches that they're taking to architecting or, or exploring that? Yes, absolutely. Uh, so I would say in, in the small cell arena, we're kind of, most carriers are getting past the trial phase where they may have done some, you know, technical trials, feasibility, how does it work? I think we're past that. Uh, and we're into what I would call pilot deployment phases, where uh, carriers are issuing RFPs, uh, they're making commitments, signing contracts to deploy moderate numbers of these devices uh, in the in the tens, for example, you know, in a given market, 10, 20, 50 uh, sites, uh, they're ready to deploy. Um, certainly not ramped up to the you know thousands and even hundreds of thousands numbers that we all. Uh, hope to see eventually. Mm -hmm. But again, that's part of the natural process, I think, of defining a business model that works for everyone before we can really scale it. Uh, but we are seeing real commitments to deploy these uh, across the country. Okay. Dave, thanks so much for your time. You're welcome.